the difference between bed bugs and dust mites picture. In this case, at first glance, bed bugs and dust mites picture look nearly the same. Brownish to orange color of the body, both are round and they're both tiny insects. But bed bugs and dust mites picture are deceiving. The bed bugs and dust mites picture have differences when you look closely enough. Bed bugs have six legs, while dust mites, they have eight legs. Other differences in the bed bugs and dust mites picture are the details of their body shape. Bed bugs have a round, flattened shape, which plumps up when engorged in blood during their feeding. Dust mites are already fully rounded, and they feed mostly on human dander or skin scales. If you look closely at the bed bugs and dust mites picture, you're going to see that bed bugs have antenna, while dust mites don't have antennas. Dust mites are all legs. Their body structure may look alike, but bed bugs are much more related to the flea species. The bed bugs and dust mites picture also reveal that bed bugs are visible enough for the naked eye to see. They're tiny, but nonetheless they are visible. You can see them. Dust mites, on the other hand, have translucent bodies, and that makes them invisible to the unaided eye. When bed bugs and dust mites pictures are placed together, one can clearly see that these two have distinct marking unique to the species. Another thing you're going to notice about these bed bugs and dust mites pictures is how, when dismissed by the untrained eye, they can be mistaken for one another. These pests create an unsanitary place for us humans. Bed bugs are parasites, while dust mites contribute to allergy. Dust mite allergy is very common, and it occurs when we inhale their excrement. One thing the bed bugs and dust mites picture reveal is that they both like to live in our beds. They do have that in common. Yes, our mattresses host hundreds of squirmy little pests. Looking at any bed bugs and dust mites picture is enough to make you want to sleep on a bamboo bed. Unfortunately, bed bugs and dust mites can live there too. Based on the bed bugs and dust mites picture, there is a way to eliminate them in your home. One thing you can do is make sure you want to you're going to make sure you want to wash your bed sheets, pillowcases, draperies and your carpets on a regular basis. Change those twice a month or better yet once every week. This is going to prevent the bed bugs and dust mites picture from popping up into your head all the time. <laughs> we don't want that. What you can do is clean the house with a vacuum. If you don't have a vacuum, try running a wet cloth to wipe the floor and other small places that the vacuum cannot reach. Dust mites are the ones that form dust bunnies, so make sure you clean those up as well. Dust bunnies refer to a, a group of dust mites excrement, hair and other substances that land on the floor. The bed bugs and dust mites picture also show us how different their natures are. Bed bugs are nocturnal insects. They come out at night. They like to feed when it's quiet and when people are sleeping. They hide during the day in cracks and warm places, while dust mites are content with living their whole lives in the dark corner. The bed bugs and dust mites pictures show how they live out their cycle. They hatch, eat, grow, defecate, mate, and they lay eggs. When you look for the worst between these two pests, take a look at the bed bugs and the dust mites picture. You're going to notice that though bed bugs look scary, at least they're visible and there's a treatment for their infestation. Dust mites are not like that. The bed bugs and dust mites pictures show that dust mites may have more numbers than bed bugs in the mattress. Why is that, you ask? Because when the bed bugs and dust mites picture of their nymphs or developing babies, dust mites always show us with a grouped bed bugs and dust mites picture. They huddle together and they show us their might in numbers. No wonder a lot of people experience allergic rhinitis. If made to choose between the lesser evil, the most obvious choice are bed bugs. At least there are pesticides formulated just to kill and eliminate these pests. Whereas with dust mites, you can have an allergy for the rest of your life.